Ever since True Detective Night Country started, the show's original creator Nick Pizzolatto has been posting and liking comments about how terrible the new season is, like any mature writer or director would do. His comments caught the attention of a lot of people on social media, and even Issa Lopez responded to Nick's mocking criticism. Now, HBO has released an update on the fate of True Detective, and I wanted to talk about the controversial events of the last few days, especially how Nick Pizzolatto has been dealing with all of it. Is he acting like a child, or are his criticisms, if you can call them that, justified? Was season 4 really that bad? What about season 5? Let's answer all these questions. Nick Pizzolatto on Night Country The first question that comes to mind is why wasn't Nick involved in True Detective Season 4? He actually has executive producer credit, but he did not write this season. That's because his deal with HBO was for three seasons, and he signed a new deal with FX after True Detective Season 3. HBO didn't offer to have a new contract with him and started looking for other writers. Some say this resulted in Nick being butthurt over this and starting to criticize the new season from the beginning. I first saw the signs of this after the first two episodes of Night Country were released. Nick started liking comments critical of the new season. One person on Instagram commented on how he's hoping Matthew McConaughey doesn't show up in the new season and how he's heard Rust's father Travis showed up in the Night Country. Nick responded to this comment by saying, I certainly did not have any input in the story or anything else. Can't blame me. And Matthew doesn't show up, nor would he. First of all, I understand not wanting to be linked with a new season since he's not responsible for the writing, but why say Matthew wouldn't show up? To me, from this very comment, it's obvious that Nick was mocking season 4 as inferior even before all episodes were out. It could be inferior, but his comments don't seem professional at all. If you thought that was bad, you have to see more. Nick also responded to a comment about the Tuttle reference in Season 4. He said, and I quote, Haha, so stupid. Regardless of the idea that this is stupid or not, Nick making these comments just feels like he's a child who cries because his toy is taken away from him. I mean, we already know how everyone calls him an asshole. Even Kerry Fukunaga, the incredible director of Season 1, publicly admitted how difficult it was to work with Nick, so in a way, I'm not surprised by these comments. Issa Lopez responded to these comments, of course, but in a more professional way. I believe that every storyteller has a very specific, peculiar, and unique relation to the stories they create, and whatever his reactions are, he's entitled to them. That's his prerogative. I wrote this with profound love for the work he made and love for the people that loved it. But Nick continued with even more Season 4 bashing on Instagram. This time, he shared stories of people praising Season 1 and criticizing and mocking the end of Season 4. It looks like Nick is even hanging out on the True Detective subreddit as he shared a post from the Reddit sub. The post was about forgiving Season 2. As you probably already know, Season 2 was criticized harshly after the huge success of Season 1. Now, people feel like they went too harsh on the second season, after seeing season 4. Nick is not being subtle at all. He even shared the post of someone saying, HBO should have stuck with Nick Pizzolatto. Now, I want you to lay aside all your feelings about season 4 and really think whether this is okay for a professional to do. I mean, I would understand if there was constructive criticism, but it seems unprofessional and childish to me. What do you think? Was season 4 that bad? Well, if you compare it to season 1, season 4 does look bad. But as a work on its own, I don't think it's as bad as people paint it out to be. I do admit there were too many open endings. It looks like the writer did not really think the story all the way through and made decisions along the way. Too many questions were left unanswered. And when you ask her what happened, Issa Lopez gives you these kinds of answers. Was it the water that caused a deer to jump? Could be whatever the mine was pumping into the ice, yes. Could be that they sensed that she awakened. Your choice. No matter what you say, this season broke the True Detective record for viewership and became the most watched True Detective season. The season got overall more than 12 million viewers. That's huge. Do you think all the people who watched it were haters who only wanted to figure out what would happen in the end? I don't think so. The show's setting, its cast, and its main mystery were all aspects that a lot of people enjoyed, and even though the end was not conclusive enough, does that really make it trash? 
I don't want to bash on the show just because people are bashing on it. I enjoyed the series overall, just not the ending. It wasn't satisfying for me. But that doesn't take away from the joy I experienced throughout the season. Well now, it doesn't really matter because season 5 is confirmed. HBO shared the news recently and whether you like it or not, Issa Lopez will return as the showrunner. At the end of the day, HBO looks at the streaming numbers and makes a financial decision. If someone makes money for them, they will stick with her. Right now, we don't know what the new season will be about. I just hope Issa listens to criticism about her open endings and creates a more conclusive story that doesn't leave viewers with too many questions. I'll watch season 5 as soon as it comes out though. What do you think about all of these? Is Nick Pizzolatto right in his comments about season 4? Are you going to watch season 5? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon!